Hi folks, uh, just thought I'd post a uh, update on the uh, workbench and what I've been up to uh, recently. <clears throat> um, as you can remember from the last one, I've uh, been uh, looking at working on uh, some Austrians. So um, I'll uh, show you what I've come up with so far. This is one of the first uh, bases of Austrians. Uh, there's a mixture of um, Warlord, Victrix Plastics, uh, this guy here, Casualties of Perry's. The uh, two uh, guys in the front there, the officer and the drummer, are front ranks. Um, the flag itself comes from the box set from the uh, Victrix box set. Uh, I think um, the standard bearer and this guy here uh, is the uh, Victrix contribution. Um, yeah, great fun. Uh, I think I've got the hang of the white, uh, painting white. It was a bit of a struggle first off, but um, I had to change my technique because it just was quite dull. So, um, yeah, not, not looking too bad at all. Um, I've finished another battalion. Um, again, uh, this guy here is front rank. This guy here is a peri. Uh, this guy here, I think, is a peri plastic. Most of the rank and file are peri plastic. And uh, I think the standard bearer is a um, Victrix miniatures. So, uh, again, it's another battalion. <clears throat> As I say, this is one of my large bases. Uh, plans are obviously to expand them with two um, flanking bases uh, like I did for the uh, Württembergers in the last video. And uh, so I'll be able to place some uh, Warlord games, um, Black Powder, as well as uh, my uh, sort of current favourite, which is uh, Sabre, Sovereign and Shaco, which I use just the one large base for. Um, Moved on to another another base. Um, this is basically how I construct <laughs> my large bases. I start with the centre and work my way out on the flanks. So uh, this guy here is another front rank, and uh, there's another front rank drummer. Uh, the casualty at the front is a Perry's metal. Uh, the big tricks guy with his musket slung and uh, the standard bearer is also a uh, front rank as well so that's as far as I've got um, with my plastic uh, with my Austrians I should say I've uh, this is the next lot to, I'm painting up uh, these are all peri plastics and um, so that's going to be the uh, remainder for the third battalion that I'm working on um, the other thing that uh, I've been uh, working on um, are the uh, Lenskinets. Um, absolute explosion of uh, colour. There you go, he's in focus. Uh, this is one of the uh, Metal Wall or Games commanders and um, a fine colourful fellow he is too. <laughs> um, this is just, I mean, this is completely different from what I'm normally painting. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been great fun. I mean, the colours are just astonishing. Uh, another officer, another metal wall or games figure. Hopefully you're going to focus in a bit. Um, but um, yeah, he's, uh, as I say, he's great. Uh, a great figure to paint these guys. I mean, the, the, the colour is just <laughs> incredible. Um, another warlord. Officer, these are the the uh, four metal ones that I showed you at the uh, on the other video from the uh, painting bench update. So uh, yeah, I've managed to um, get to those ones done. I, I've also painted the fourth one, but um, I've also painted <laughs> a large base of um, Lanchinet forces. Um, guy with a double-handed sword this is the other officer from the wall games these are all uh, wall games these are plastic the other guys are all from their plastic uh, box sets and um, another base of them and more riot of color um, I must admit really getting into this now it's been uh, really great fun to do and um, Last but not least, <laughs> this is the other base. So uh, the plan is to have 
three bases to um, the units to uh, make it um, a sizable wedge of soldiers because obviously they fought in uh, large um, formations and I've been uh, this is the other guys I'm working on these are Warlord games again but these are their metal packs uh, this pike forwards so uh, I'm going to have four pikes forwards in the front four pikes here another 10 standing lance knits and I'm going to have the officers there and two flag bearers and a uh, drummer which again are um, going to use the um, drummers from the uh, blister packs hopefully there you go um, detail on them is, is absolutely lovely so uh, yeah looking forward to painting this guy and um, the other standard bearer so uh, yeah that's pretty much what I've been getting up to um, it's uh, I must admit been great fun painting something different from the Napoleonics so I've been sort of doing bits and pieces of both just uh, to keep the interest up and um, keep the uh, level of painting going as well because I must admit I've done quite a bit uh, this time in, in very short uh, space of painting so um, I'll leave it here as always thanks for watching and uh, any questions queries leave them in the comments at the end and I will get back to you as always bye for now